Hey, Bay Area, I'm Juan Escovito, and you're in the spotlight. The man of the hour, Mr. Juan Escobedo, will be performing. We're here with, with, with Juan to talk about his story with his life. Brother Juan Escobedo, uh, first of all, let me say on behalf of Spotlight on the Bay and the fans here in the Bay Area, we are proud to have this interview because you, your family, has been uh, an item of iconic posture mm -hmm. in the Bay Area. Oh, thank you. So mm -hmm. we consider you royal family with all of the services that you performed with for the communities and for our world of music, we thank you. You're so welcome. Yes, sir. So with this family legacy, mm -hmm. um, your, your father, uh, Pete, there's Sheila, there's Peter Michael, mm -hmm. and of course Juan. Mm -hmm. uh, with that legacy, how has it helped you continue to be consistent with you working as an artist right now? Well. The good thing is that my father has opened so many doors yes. for all of us. Yes. And a lot of people don't know that my grandfather was a musician also. I didn't know that. Wow. Yeah. He played guitar and sang. So my father, Pete Escovito, opened a lot of doors. So the main thing that I took from that is, is when we lived and grew up on 9th Ave, East 21st yes. in Oakland, that all these great musicians... We're coming in to the house and rehearsing and, and working with my father. And, you know, we're just young and stuff. Right, right. So we're watching and listening. Right. Didn't know we are taking in all this knowledge. Right. Because right? Right. you're just a kid. Right. Right. So we're hearing all these songs. We're listening to how they rehearse, how they work hard, study the songs. When, when they used to take a break and... Uh, and go in the back or whatever. So we would just play on the congas. You know, we're little. Jump on so the we're instruments, jumping right. on the instrument, piano, a <laughs> little bit of whatever. And so we had a, a open a floor mat of, of doing whatever we, we wanted to do. Right. And then uh, after a while, we just started practicing a lot and playing right. just as fun because my right. father was laughing, my uncles was there, Uncle Coke, Uncle Phil. Right. Uh, all the family, they're just, it was a gathering. Yes. Yes. So they were always laughing and fool. My what mother a moment. would cut. What, what a time. Yeah. It was great. It's like, you know, no worries. It's just like laughter and music. Right. Eventually, we actually were, were tech for my father's uh, Azteca band. It was a 16-piece band. Oh, my God. So we had to learn to set up the equipment because, you know. That's a lot. A lot of people coming in. Yeah. So my father was like, can you help the band? So we're like, yeah, we good. So we le actually learned how to set up all the equipment. Before Amazing. we learned how to play. Amazing. Hello, Bay Area. This is your host, Bilal M. with Spotlight on the Bay. Food, sports, fashions, programs, and vocational schools that can and will help change your life. Remember, it's a new day. from something somebody yes, yes. What, what I loved about the tour there's a lot of things but the main thing is when Earth, Wind & Fire horn sections came on the tour oh, God. and I talked to them on the tour bus that's when you really get to know well, it, it depends on how you uh, take the tour seriously there's always fun right? and there's seriously uh, there's conversation, conversation about right. learning more about music yes, and stuff. Yes. So I talked to them about a lot of stuff and I learned a lot. Of... Join our Spotlight family so you can stay in the know of what's going on in the Bay. We're going to give you information, education, and entertainment that can and will change your life. It's a new day with Spotlight on the Bay. Who were some of the artists that you worked with, that you played with? Um, there's a lot, but the ones I learned from, okay, let me tell you this story. So okay. I was playing a gig with my father. Okay. Terry Lynn Carrington. Yes. Amazing drummer. Drummer. 
female. She saw me play with my father. And automatically, she was doing a, her first CD, and she said, Juan, I want you to tour with me, my first album. And I'm like, wow. you know, I, I say yes to everything. <laughs> true, right? true. <laughs> but when I went to rehearsal in L.A., that stuff was so complicated. I'm like, oh, yeah, you I'm ever good. been in that situation? Like, I have. You say yes, yes, but I didn't know she, I didn't really know who she was. Right. But when I came in, it was very complicated, but... I was the 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 one that had a, to catch up with what they rehearsed right. in the songs, but I kept going to the room all night to five six in the morning studying studying studying. There you go, making my nicely notes nicely done. So yeah, yes. even though you, if you're a good reader or not, you have to learn. To me, you have to learn like sections, yes. intro, verses, chorus, yes, percussion stuff. Yes. A cowbell, kibasa. So there's a lot of that stuff in there. So as a percussion player, I want people to know you have to study and listen. Yes. It's not just playing. You have to listen to all these great musicians and the patterns and the technique and the style it takes exactly. to be really good. Yes. So I already had that. Yeah. That wasn't the problem. But what kind of music they were the playing? Songs. What they were playing, yeah. right. I didn't fit in. <laughs> Because it was New York, and you know it's a different. East it Coast, is a West difference. Coast. It is. So they're, they're, the way they play is different. Yeah. I came in Oakland style. The way I, <laughs> I throw, I threw in my stuff. It was fun for me. I was having fun, but it wasn't working. Okay. So she had me actually go see Al Jarreau, which I ended up going on tour with Al Jarreau. With Al Jarreau. But uh, beautiful Al Jarreau. Yeah, love him. Uh, so she had me listen to this New York uh, percussion player. Amazing the way his style is so different the way I play. Right. So she was used to him. So I went to see him and I said, Oh, once I saw it, I go, Oh, okay. You saw so the now character, your mind it, have, yeah. mindset have to change to yeah. adjust to who you who's hiring you to yes, work. Yes, sir. We're bringing you spotlight on the big. We're bringing you old school, new school, and alternative. We're bringing you education information and entertainment that regards all cultures in our communities. We're coming, get ready. Remember, it's a new day with Spotlight on the Bay. If you just learn one format of one type of music, you'll be stuck in that box. Yes. So you have to listen to jazz, R&B, funk, rap. But here's the thing I want to say too. Yes. So before that gig, I was doing a lot of, I went back to salsa, Latin jazz. Yes. So to now go to uh, R&B, right? right? And the hand claps and the you know, four, drum four machine. And, yeah. My whole concept had to change, my whole frame of thought had, because I was doing this Latin stuff. So that's another thing, that you have to adjust your mind, change it to how you look at music. Right. Cause, you know, you get used to one part of music, and you playing right. that the way, that one way, and then you go into a lut, like coming out of the, out of the hammer, a tour. I had to go back to there was another band that was uh, Caribbean, and I'm like, oh, my feeling has to go back. Well, to you came back from the tour. I had to go back to this, <laughs> so it, it takes a minute to adjust. Right. But always, never say no to any work. That's right. what I have to say. Because you can continue to, to learn. Learn, and 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 you develop. And you learn, like, yeah, you learn from every uh, musician, every tour. Right. Or you can mess up and do <laughs> other things and not take it serious. So I, always be prepared. Be prepared. That's the main thing. I got to say this on yeah. camera. Okay, so we got a chance to be roommates on, on tour. And in the room, Juan would pull out his, he would pull out his uh, pads, practice pads, his cowbell and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And he would practice. Mm -hmm. I, I would sit there. I said, "Come on, man, we get ready to go to the, 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 the you know." He's like, "No, nah, man, I got to practice because I messed Club, up." You got us hanging. I'm trying to. Learn yeah, you said no. You said I messed up on a couple of songs, and I'm gonna have to get straight on it because oh, I, I know. That? Yeah, okay. you said I'm a, I know I'm here from Felton, and I, I, <laughs> <laughs> Felton pilot, yeah. Felton pilot, and uh, and you. And, but I watched you do that, man. So oh, this is real, you. true, true statement. I watched you do it. Okay, and I mean. I was just stunned. I said, he is doing it. Mm -hmm. It is serious. It is serious. So it, it gave me my respect for you. Truly, my and respect for you. And I saw you rehearse 
notes and things. You had a. a I had to because you know we were talking. We were in the room. I'm like, I got a tape. <laughs> normally, normally you if you if you if you're working, the musical director if something wasn't right, they'll bring the tape. Oh yeah. And they'll say, I think you need to listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> we are family. When we're on right. tour, we're, we're gone six months out the year. Right. So your wife's not there or family, whatever. Even though you're on the phone checking in. Right. When you're down and out, and at that moment, you don't want to call home and say it's rough, no, it's tough. Right. So you got you have we your roommate. We talk to each other. Right. We got to survive and uh, make it happen and make it work and 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 just enjoy yes. life and be thankful that we're touring. That and we're doing touring this for a living. Well, we yeah. said that a lot. That, that, that we were touring. Hmm. A solo album. Uh -huh. Juan, after everybody in your family had an album. Except one. Right. So, so we was kept asking him, okay, what's going on, man? Well, you know, why are you saying, well, I'm not ready yet. You said this, I'm not ready it. yet. Yeah, yeah. And I said, okay, he's going to be ready. Now, I've heard the, re the record. I've heard the album. This yes, one? yes. I've heard the album. And I saw this some one? of the videos. <laughs> this one right here? Yeah, that's it. That is it. That is it. That is it. So you see it. Yeah. Okay, we, now that you see it, go out, purchase it, or go online, purchase it. Let it be a part of your musical arsenal, Juan Escobedo. Thank you. As far as the CD, uh, is there another information you want to give out as far as um, website or information about numbers or anything like that? Should you just go to the website and check that out? Yeah, so you can make sure you follow Juan on all social media pages, so Instagram, <laughs> Facebook, um, and then put in your request for your um, T-shirts or CDs there. Uh, right now we're in transition with the website, so um, so the easiest way is to, um, is to request it through Facebook or Instagram.